people where millions get to explore together. Skillshare has got thousands of classes. As artists, you're going to love discovering topics in fine art, illustration, and more. Lots of Skillshare classes are under 60 minutes. With short lessons, you can fit them into the busiest of schedules. I thought at first I was going to watch a Skillshare class about marketing, but actually, I ended up watching Storytelling for Leaders, How to Craft Stories That Matter with Keith Yamashita. Got me thinking that I could learn all the marketing skills that I wanted, but that actually, the heart of marketing is being able to tell a good story. Skillshare is also super affordable, and annual description is less than $10 a month. The first 500 of our subscribers to click this link, which is also in the video description below, will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Hello, I'm Professor Lou. Welcome to our live stream. I'm here today with art prof teaching artist Jordan McCracken Foster. And today we are doing our very first Procreate Draw Along. If you would like to grow as an artist and you can't afford an art class, we've got everything you need here at Art Prof, critiques and tutorials. Let's get started by maybe explaining our prior or rather lack of prior experience with Procreate. Jordan, when did you start using Procreate? Uh, so I got my iPad about three years ago, two, three years ago. And I bought it specifically to use Procreate so that I could draw on the go. And uh, so I've been using it for that long and uh, I'm pretty comfortable with it at this point. So um, I know how to make a line and <laughs> I know how to use the eraser and pick colors. I've never made a new layer before. So I have the layer that's already there. Beyond that, <laughs> I'm in your hands, Jordan. So, uh... All right. This is going to be the, the student teaching the teacher. This is going to be fun. Exactly. And so you guys, tell us in the chat, how many of you have used Procreate before? Tell us, are you like a total noob? Are you like Procreate master like Jordan? Because I'm sure there's a whole range, but I'm going to guess I'm probably the least experienced out of everybody that's here. So why don't we get started? Let me pull up our screen. And what Jordan and I prepared for you guys is these heads that we're going to work with. If you guys don't know where these are, the links are in the video description below. They're also in our Discord server in the news channel. And these are high resolution images that are free for you guys to use. And we're also going to have a timer because we want to, you know, keep ourselves on our toes. So Jordan, we're going to start with a 10 minute drawing just to get ourselves going. And okay, I guess we should pick brushes before we start. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I'll show what I have here. I have a ton of brushes, probably more than I'll ever need to use in my life. But I do have a, a few that I like to just draw with. So you guys might see me change it up every once in a while. Um, I'll go with this Clayton Henry ink bleed for right now. It's got a nice pencil -y kind of texture that I like. So I'm going to use that. See, Jordan, you know what my reaction is to all these brushes? It's basically, oh, my <laughs> God, help me. Like, I have no <laughs> idea which one to use because... I guess my first impulse is to use one that's sort of like pencil and charcoal that's sort of textured, or I don't know. I mean, do you think it's better to use like a cleaner line when you first start? Uh, I guess it just depends what you're going for. It's the, the thing with Procreate is it's so versatile that there have been people who've done full on paintings. There are people who just sketch with it. Some people who do final comic ink work in it. So it really just depends. So since you like charcoal, you might be able to, I'm sure you can find a charcoal brush. Matter of fact, in the brush menu, I see a specific icon that says charcoals towards the bottom on your screen. Um, you could try that. And then before you start drawing, there's this little tab for those who don't know anything about Procreate. There's a little bar here. And this first bar represents the size of your brush. So the lower it is, is the smaller size. Higher up it is, it's the bigger size. And then this is opacity. And so, you know, this would be 100. And if I move it down, it just becomes very light gray. Um, so that's what that is. And then we have our undo button um, right there. So wait so. a minute, Jordan. So like if I want to do something light, is it better to change the opacity 
or is it better to pick light gray as a color? Like what's better? Uh, uh, actually, I would just use less, less pressure on your hand because the iPad has like thousands of degrees um, for touch gesture. So like right now I'm drawing super light, but then if I press harder, it, you know, goes a little thicker. So it's really good at measuring thick to thin lines. Um, but depending on what you want to use, you can also just change the opacity or change the brush to gray, whatever you want to do. It, it just really depends. See, this is overwhelming. It's too many options. Like, I just want to draw. Like, <laughs> this is too many things to deal with. <laughs> just, just, for, just treat it like you would uh, pencil and paper. You know, if you have a lighter touch, the uh, less, you know, less ink or less graphite is going to get on there. The more pressure you put, the more is going to get on. It's basically uh, We have a quick question from Blue Will Spirit Jordan. They're asking, where is the undo button? Okay, so the undo button, um, where this opacity thing is, you see it moving. There's a little arrow right on the bottom that's pointing to the left. Uh, that is the undo. The other thing that you can do that's really cool is the iPad is really good with gestures. So if you literally just take two fingers and tap on the screen, it should undo like that. That I so, know. <laughs> that, oh, there we go. See, you could have answered the question, Claire. <laughs> okay, guys, yeah. let me get... The timer started, and I really hope that you guys are going to draw along with us and post your stuff in the Discord during and after the stream, because I think this is going to be super fun. Okay, let me pull up my reference photo, and I'm going to get started drawing, and we'll see how I do. Okay, let me just do this. Okay, so... See, these look too wide though, Jordan. Like, are they gonna be that wide or does, do I change like, ugh, like that's uh, way, do I just make it smaller? So yeah, make your brush smaller. Oh. Um, and that's part of like, you kind of have to play around with it and discover what it is that you like. Everyone has different unique preferences. But see, this one's um, too wide. I don't like that. There's a way you can change the brush itself, but I don't think no, we have no, time no. To I, I want this to be okay. So maybe I shouldn't use charcoal. Should I use like sketching? Try, try sketching. Yeah, try one of the sketching brushes. Okay, maybe um, mm, technical pencil. Let me just see. Oh, that's a little bit better. But it, I want it a little fuzzier. Can I make it fuzzier? Uh, fuzzy. What do you mean fuzzier? Like making it bigger? Well, I want it in between this and the last one. Or do I just make this brush bigger? <laughs> um, you might have to just find a bigger brush. Uh, that That's that's kind of going... I, I don't want to go into like how to change a brush necessarily because that there are honestly some things that I don't even understand about how it works. Um, so I, I'm going to stay away from that. Okay, fine. Um, I'm just going to deal. <laughs> yeah. You, you figure it out. Part of it is just exploring, just like you told us in freshman year. You guys, we're already eight, two minutes into the post. I haven't drawn anything. Okay, I'm going to shut up now, and I'm going to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I decided to change my brush because um, what I realized that one I picked out before, it was a little too uh, too thin. And since we only have a short amount of time, I like getting like choosing a slightly thicker brush and then going Jordan, and then I don't after like that. This. this feels gross. <laughs> the pencil doesn't feel good. You Do you have a matte cover on it at all? I do. And it still feels, <laughs> it feels weird? weird? Okay. I <laughs> oh, that might just, yeah. Just practice it. I, like I said, I've been working on this for a couple of years now and I didn't get a chance to really work warm up today so quite honestly it feels a little weird to me too right now i know you're gonna laugh at me but it's okay I don't know. It's, it's like there's no uh, it feels a little mushy <laughs> well, so so is it the brush do you think or just the ipad screen that you think is mushy? it's, it's not the screen it's like it, it glides too fast like it i don't know it's too smooth uh, and now, yeah. you know what else? All of my drawing principles are going out the window. Like, what do you mean? You know how I'm always like talking to people about like, oh, look at the big shapes and think about the structure. And now I'm like, structure, what? Like, you know what I mean? It's like, you can't think about too many things all at once. 
I think that's just because it's a new medium. Like, part of it is just getting used to the tool itself and before you can really start worrying about some of these things. Um, and that is a challenge. That's a significant challenge. Ooh, I don't like this. It looks, <laughs> real, it looks really bad, you guys. Oh, my God. Ugh. I don't know. It's like I can't, I can't think straight. It, it's like it's too many things. <laughs> okay it's I, i'm gonna shut up i'm really i'm really gonna, I'm gonna do this by the way you guys we are going to stop and take a break and you know maybe jordan and i can uh alternate who does comments so that way um we got to your comments let's see these brushes feel right right now okay the wait whoa why did my ipad just go whoa. dark it went, I didn't, I missed it. I don't know. It's just a little bit darker. It's fine. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I love using this thing. Like, there are times when I'm on the bus or the train or, or even on, I was, when I flew out here, I flew out to see my mom and I was on the way back and I just put on my iPad and I was like, bam, let's do this. Um, except when there was turbulence, I couldn't do Wait, it. Wait, Jordan, how many layers do you have? Right now, just one. Okay, because I know you guys are going to rag on me for not having more layers. I, well, I only use layers when they're necessary. Like, if I'm working on a big piece, like, well, during our break time, I can show you guys uh, uh, something that I worked on that has a few layers to it. Uh, but right now, it's just this one layer because it's just a really loose, quick sketch and nothing super, super crazy. Okay, Jordan, this looks really bad. Like, should I not be changing brushes? I feel like the two brushes don't mix very well. Uh, it's, I mean, it's up to you. I can't really control how you draw. I mean, there are some people who draw more with, you know, thick marks, and then there are some people who do with lines. So maybe you should try using more marks rather than just line. Because I'm comfortable with line. That's just what I do all the time. Also, um, I don't like this brush. It looks like corduroy. <laughs> can i change the opacity or is it going to change the opacity of the whole yeah. image no the opa if you change the opacity of the brush um it, it just like down here this little scrolling thing it'll just be the brush the only way to change the opacity of the layer is if you go on the top in this top square and you hit this little icon that says in and it has opacity max um or none so oh okay so like if that. i want to change the opacity of the whole layer i have to do it here yeah, but exactly. Wait, how do I, and there's a bunch of wait. How do I change too. the opacity? Do I like double tap? Uh, you would have to go to uh, the layer and then hit the in icon, a little button in, and then uh, that little scale at the top that says opacity. Okay, there you on. go. Wait, 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 wait. Woo! Oh my god, it's like magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. See. Um, I'm going to quickly take a look at the chat. So, Jordan, you keep drawing. And let's okay. see what people are saying. <laughs> Let me see. Kate is saying, I remember the first time my brother let me borrow his iPad, we spent the guts of an hour figuring out brushes just for a little sunflower. Okay, I don't feel so silly now, Kate, for asking Jordan all these questions. Uh, let's see. What else do we have going on? Megan says, I honestly don't know if I would like working digitally. I can see pros and cons. I'm intrigued. You know, Jordan, honestly, the reason I want to try this is just because I want to see what the fuss is all about because people are so <laughs> into perky. I'm like, okay, there's got to be something going on here, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of fun things for me. Like, one of my favorite things actually is the fact that it records your drawing as you're working or it has the capability to do that. And I think that's so cool to see. I love watching my process. Jay Hong is saying, would art schools accept portfolios created on Procreate? They absolutely would, but you don't want to have your portfolio be all Procreate pieces. Like if you have a portfolio of 20 pieces, you could have like three or four Procreate pieces. I feel like that would be totally fine. Just not the whole thing. Moses says, Can Jordan's looks like Joaquin Phoenix. Ooh, I like Joaquin Phoenix. He's so cool. <laughs> That's, funny. That's funny. 
I, I want to say one thing about um, the portfolio and Procreate. Procreate is just a tool. It's not, you know, if you submit it, it's not like anyone's going to be like, is this Procreate or not? You know, they'll be able to tell it's digital, but there are plenty of people who do professional work on the iPad with no problems. Jordan, you know what I just realized? I had my color set on gray, and that's why I couldn't get any contrast. <laughs> oh, I, I can... Do you want to change all of your lines to black? I can show you how to do that really quickly. What do you mean? Like, make this all black? Yeah, like the lines you already drew. You can change the color of your lines to anything. Oh, how do I do that? So, you go up to your layers here, and then you tap on the image on the left. And then you see something that says alpha lock. You hit that. And then it should make the image, um, the image thumbnail should be like a little grid. And then you can go to whatever color here, this in the circle. And let's say I want to change it to this vibrant red. You pick the color, you go back to your layer, hit the icon again, and then you want to hit fill layer. Wait, wait, what icon? Uh, oh, the, the thumbnail, sorry. The thumbnail that you used to get alpha lock, it's in the same menu. So you would hit that and then do fill layer. And now it's going to fill a layer with the color that you just selected. Ew. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> so you can just like change so, the color. Yeah. So it, that, it locks all the pixels so you can do that. Uh, but if you want to keep drawing again, you're going to have to make sure you take alpha lock off. You're going to have to just double click it again because otherwise it won't work. So just to give you all an example, if I decide I want to color it blue, I'm not drawing outside of the the piece wait whoa it's is just, that is the blue on another layer or is that all on one layer it's on one layer but what i've done is i've locked the pixels so like let's say um how do i describe this let's let's say i have a stencil in place and i decide i want to change the color it will be as if i didn't if i didn't move the paper but i just put new paint on it that's kind of the same thing it's doing and so yeah now it looks really weird wait so how do i change it back to black do I turn alpha uh, lock would, off? So you would have to go, you'd have to have alpha lock on and then pick your color and then go back to the thumbnail again and then hit fill layer. Oh, I think, I, okay, so sense? it's like alpha color has to be on. Y yes, so, so. Alpha lock is just like the pixel lock thing. That, that's all it wait, does. Wait, wait, what is it and do? It, it puts the pixels in place so that you can't change it. Like if I want to draw on top of it, it won't allow me to do that. Um, I don't, you guys probably can't see the cursor, but I'm literally trying to draw on top of it and it's not working because it's um, it's got the alpha lock on. Like right now it's changing it blue and I'm going all over the canvas, but it's, I can't do it. So that's why oh, you oh, have so to. It, okay, so it's alpha lock, pick color, and then fill layer? Yes. Okay, I, I thought the alpha lock just did it all. <laughs> I didn't, okay, so the fill layer you have to do after the alpha lock to actually exactly. turn it into the if color. You want to change. Okay, exactly. I get it now. Precisely. Okay. <laughs> all right, Jordan, <laughs> you it's go. your turn to look at comments while I get started on the next piece. Let's set this one for 15 minutes. But why don't you do comments while I start? Oh, actually, before I do that, how do I erase the whole thing? Oh, okay. So let's not erase it. Just hit a new layer. Just go to that plus at the top on your in your layers. There you go. And then that check box uh, on the layer that you drew on, just take that off. Oh, so you can have and like multiple drawings, but all each on a different layer. Exactly. So is there no point in starting another canvas? No, you don't need to do that at all. But don't you want to sometimes? Sure, if you want to work on your project, but since this is kind of the same session, um, I don't see why we need to change it. Okay, so let me do, um, I'm going to change the timer. We're going to go to the next image. So actually, let me move that timer up a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. And let me switch the timer to 15 minutes. So I'm going to get that started. And Jordan, why don't you go through the comments? Because I sort of have a feeling you're going to be better at answering the questions. <laughs> Sure, sure. Let's see. We have one from David Pena, like color overlay in Photoshop. Oh, referring to the alpha lock. Okay. Alpha lock is like a clipping mask from 
and Sparks. Uh, it only lets you work in existing pixels from Neil and kind of like a stencil. Yeah, so all you guys have the right concept. It's it's just changing the color, and it's really good for line work, especially. Uh, there are times where you want to uh, you want to keep your whole drawing the same, but you need to change the color to match something else in the environment. So that's always really really helpful. Um, Veronica Munoz. Uh, been on Procreate for years. I never even knew about that trick. Aha! Well, glad I could teach you something. The, the thing about Procreate is there's always new stuff to learn. And I have, you know, I, I honestly keep watch, looking at videos and uh, I find a lot of really, really cool stuff. So, oh, that's not right. Let's change that up. Let's see. Wait, Jordan, should I random, be like random changing colors? in the same layer or should I make a new layer when I change colors? Cause right now I feel like the color I have is way too black or, or should I just change the opacity? Like, I don't know which one to do. What is your goal? Do well, you, do you want to have a multi multicolored image? Well, it's or? just like, I want to like, okay. So this is a dumb thing, but you know how like I'm doing the drawing and how his like eye sockets are like really dark. Right. So I uh -huh. like put those in, but then I want to do the wrinkles and those are really light but I don't want to be disrupted to change the color. I want to just keep drawing. Oh, I mean, you can uh, you can probably just make a new layer and fill that in, lower the opacity of your brush or the layer. Um, the other thing that you can do is, uh, if you want to treat it like your shading, the Apple Pencil is really good for, it, it feels just like a regular pencil. So if you look at my cams for a second, if I'm, this is how I would normally draw if I want a fine tip. But if I put the pencil on its side, then I could start doing, oh, this isn't the best brush for it. Hold on. Let me try this one. I can start getting this effect. So it's as wait, if Wait, wait. How did you do that? Uh, <laughs> Back up. I literally just took the pencil like I would if, I was, if it was traditional. But it, de it depends on the pencil you're using. Sometimes you, um, the pencil's not the best. Wait, you're for talking it, about but... physical pressure. Yeah, like physically, like move the pencil. Towards, oh, so you're saying uh, I should use the physical pressure to change the lightness of the mark as opposed to like changing the size of the brush? Yeah, you can do that because um, it, it'll treat it like if if you ever, you know, I know you have done this or if you've ever drawn like using the side of your pencil to get a uh, wide, uh, wide depth, I guess, then it'll work just the same like that. Oh, okay. So it's sort of, well, let me just draw a line. So it's sort of like you start light. Uh, Oh, so I don't like this line. This line kind of looks like crap. How, wait, what was the brush you just did? The one where you like did all the shading? What brush was that? That's one of my own brushes. Oh, of course um, it is. <laughs> but it, you can use just about any brush in the pack um, to, to test it out. Um, each brush is different. It's like, remember in class when you would say, when you t tell us to use different types of charcoal or different types of crayon because they had different effects, it's the same exact thing with the brushes. It's the exact same. Jordan, are you teaching so, me with my own teaching advice? Precisely. <laughs> okay, so let's see, let's maybe, see. I don't know, like, I, uh, I can't get the right brush. Like, it's sort of driving me up the wall. Like, every brush I'm using is just, like, a little bit too wide or too scratchy, or, or should I just, like, not worry about that? Uh... I would just get used to it because I think it's just you're so new to it that you're like, what in the world is going on? And uh, that's probably what's getting you right now. I would say that's uh, a pretty apt description, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it feels. Trust me. Okay. I'm going to shut up and I'm just going to pick one and I'm just going to deal with it. Let's just see what happens. But, but I got to you know pick the right one. <laughs> there was one comment in here I just saw that said you were being super picky. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, it said Clara is picking it. Never mind. But the, but then randomness of uh, fandom says Prof Lou is stressing me out. <laughs> well, I'm stressed out, you guys. This is like all this information. <laughs> like, what is this alpha lock fill layer? Like, I just want to put a mark down. I'm so confused. It's fine. It's totally fine. I, I'm gonna just pick a brush. I'm just gonna do it. Maybe maybe crayon. Oh, I I like crayon. Okay, let me see what that looks like. Ooh, that's too. You know, what if I lower, ooh, maybe that's kind of nice. If I have the, op oh, that's what I want, George. Okay, I needed to do much lower it? opacity and fix. Okay, so look at this. Wait, wait, no. Wait, what is this? What is this? Hidden layer? Hit, what does that hit, mean? Hit cancel. 
Oh, you're trying to draw on a layer that doesn't exist. So just hit, hit cancel real quick. I think that's what it says. And then go up to your layers. Cancel, go, go up to your layers at the top and then click the check on the far right on the, um, there you go. Yeah. Wait, that Sorry, wasn't my face the layer I wanted though. I, I'll just make a new layer. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. But now, oh, I have to hide this. Okay, I see. So this is what I mean. So I like, yeah, that's what I want, but I want it. Oh, did I make it black? I guess it is black. Maybe a little bit less opaque. Let's try that again. Ooh, 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 a little bit. Ooh, okay, that, okay, this this is starting. No, that's too much. This, that's starting to make a little more sense. This is why I recommended that you figure out like what brushes you like beforehand. <laughs> Because I was like, trust me, you're going to feel okay, stressed. Okay, you guys, <laughs> come on, confess. Did you guys do this too? Those of you who started Procreate? I'm like, I can't even draw. Like, I feel like paralyzed. Like, I need to like figure out all this stuff. Oh, but this feels better. But uh, maybe, oh, I can't get the brush any bigger than that. That's kind of annoying. But I could, oh, wait a second, Jordan. What about zooming in? Like, how much should I zoom? As much as you want, you can you can do a lot with zooming in. Like if you look at mine, um, if I just wanted to zoom in, like look how pixely it looks now. So do you stop zooming when it gets pixely? Uh, pretty much, because there's a certain point where it's too small to really make a difference. It's sort of like not backing away from a canvas when you're painting. It's like, why are you working on something that's this tiny? It really doesn't help you at all. I love how people in the chat are being so supportive. <laughs> Like ten thousand. Yes, and you thought I was gonna. You'll get the hang of it. Oh, and you'll really like this. This is from Tom G. Prof Lou is a tough student. Hang in there, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it is. I'm it. not a tough student. I, I'm just demanding. Like, like I'm very transparent. Like, I will tell you exactly what I'm thinking. Like, you know, students who are always like, I don't want to ask questions. I'm like shamelessly asking questions to the point that I know the teacher's annoyed, but you know, whatever, this is Jordan. You're not going to kill me. So. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay. I this is what that. I'm going to do now that I'm so good at making new layers, <laughs> make a new layer. <laughs> and I really am going to draw this time. I like how Jordan has like a whole head and I'm just like making marks. <laughs> I feel like I have like hardly anything. Cause I have, I've been looking at comments and stuff the whole time. And so I'm like, oh shoot, there's half my time, more than half my time is gone. So I gotta get a move on. We, we have a request, Jordan, uh, randomness of fandoms. Prof Lou, you'll get it. Just Jordan, please help her. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Simple Tristle here me? is saying, sometimes it's an advantage to be a beginner. Exactly. Like, can do the dumbest thing which i've already done basically and you guys are like oh good job clara we're so proud of you you know like if jordan messes up you guys are like oh, jordan we're so disappointed you're supposed to be the procreate king at art prof oh my gosh so much pressure guys why is everyone pressuring me i don't know okay <laughs> i'm gonna I, I really oh shoot it's too many how do i delete a layer uh okay so you go to your layers and then you swipe it to the left and then the red where it says uh, delete. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Oh, and I saw a question earlier. I, I don't know who, who said it, I'm sorry, but you, someone asked if there was a smudge tool. And yes, there is. So if you guys see at the top menu, there's this little brush icon. It, right next to it is a symbol that looks kind of like a single finger, like it's finger painting. And that is the smudge brush. The cool thing is that you have access to all of your brushes um, it, that's already there. So brushes, eraser, and smudge tool can all have the exact same brushes, and it'll smudge with that. So if I felt like doing that here, then I could just smudge my drawing. Now, it doesn't make this look pretty anymore, but I could totally do it. So, yeah. No pressure, Jordan. You're fine. Thank you, 7 Angelic Enigma 7 I appreciate that. V VVG... 1225 says, Prof Lou, have you ever done digital art before? Nope. <laughs> like, literally, <laughs> first time, guys. Like, I use Photoshop to, like, crop stuff. Like, this is pretty much it. This is it. The funny thing about Photoshop is it's not even supposed to be a drawing app. It just was turned into one because that's what people just kept using. <laughs> 
Jordan, I just committed like a cardinal sin. Uh oh, what'd you do? Well, like I'm always telling people, like the top portrait mistake is don't start with the eyes, nose, and mouth. And I just like went and did it. How could you? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to go back in all our videos and figure out where you said that and just get rid of them now. <laughs> I see what you mean about um, the pressure thing, because that's definitely, I don't know, that's like way easier than changing up all the brushes. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, and the thing about the iPads, it's, so remember how I, a second ago, how I mentioned that Photoshop is a photo app that got turned into a drawing app? Uh, this, or a program, this app, Procreate, is specifically meant for artists. So they really, um, made sure that it was as user-friendly as possible granted it takes some getting used to as we're currently seeing <laughs> but see uh, exhibit a <laughs> i'm glad i can be such a great example the half an hour. that's the first one in half an hour i can do that <laughs> please many all-nighters i pull for your class I can just oh so it's payback <laughs> is that what it is uh i don't know about payback just um Maybe it's gloating, just, maybe it's just, or maybe it's just entertainment. Maybe it's just like very satisfying to watch. It's like watching yeah, me dance, you know what I mean? Yeah, entertainment, there we go, that's that's perfect. <laughs> Dreamy Lizard says, Clara's work is elegant, elegant with a little tongue sticking out face. <laughs> okay, so if I wanna, no, well, so if I add tone, should I do another layer or do I put it right on top? Uh, that is totally up to you. Uh, if you are going to do a lot of it, then probably a different layer would be best. But if you're just doing like a little bit under the nose or something kind of like what I'm doing right now, then you could keep on the same layer. Either way. You know what? I'm going to be so daring and I'm going to make another layer just because. You guys, the first time my daughter watched me use procreate she was like horrified that i worked all in one layer she's like oh my god how can you i'm like what's wrong there's nothing wrong <laughs> yeah you know there are some mm -hmm. artists who are able to just work in one layer and i i have a hard time fully understanding how they can do that because you have to be like mastery level in order to just have that confidence <laughs> to me wait jordan why? What, what is this? I don't know. Well, what, what happened? Why is it? Did I make it too big? Is that what happened? Uh, I I can't really see. What what is what that outline thing? Yeah. That's the cursor of your brush. So yeah, that's a that's a very large brush. Oh, so I just doing. made it so big that it turned into a big design. <laughs> exactly. So so brushes are basically kind of like stamps. Um, and so each brush will have a different shape. There will be some that are like square. Some are going to be, you know, more linear. Uh, and it just really depends. And there's an option on Procreate to have your brush cursor on. So just to show everybody that in order to see that, you go to this little wrench icon, preferences, and then brush cursor. So off, on. And that's the way you can see um, how big your brush is going to be, which is incredibly useful <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, guys, like help. Like this looks really, really bad. <laughs> it looks terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> you mean what, you're not having fun, Clara? Come on. <laughs> oh, I, I am. Uh, I want to classify it as fun. I, I'm, I'm learning. That's what I'm doing. I'm learning. You're learning the pain out. No, no pain, no gain, is. right? <laughs> Precisely. You could become a procreate wizard for all you know. Like, just give it some time. I just made the mistake of looking at Jordan's drawing. I really should not have done that. Blue Wolf Spirit says, Jordan, please draw me. You're making that elder gentleman look like a rock star. <laughs> That's funny. Let me go through Here, um, give... the chat, see what else people are saying. Randomness is fandoms. Why do you all work in one layer? That's horrific. <laughs> Veronica is saying, I've heard there's a spring screen protector that is made for drawing in an iPad that has a texture, whoops, there goes the timer, similar to paper. And Jordan, this is for you. Blue Will Spirit wants to know, how do you save a layer? How do you save a layer? Um, wait. 
I just want to make sure you just leave it. There's no like saving. Um, Procreate automatically saves everything you do. So even if your iPad like shuts off, it'll save it. Um, like if I back out into the gallery and like, oh no, will it save? Yes, it just automatically saves. But as far as saving a layer, I'm not 100% not sure what that means. Um, yeah. Hey, Jordan, you ever Claire. see that SNL sketch of Eddie Murphy with his Sonic the Hedgehog cake? It's like, wait, is that the one he did really recently? It's the one where his cake like goes on fire and it has human teeth in it. I Oh, I think so, That's yeah. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know... You got to start somewhere. If You know what? Maybe one day I'll show some of my very first digital art so you guys can all know and understand that. Yes, doesn't... please. Please do. I don't know if it's on my iPad, though. I'd have to go. I have to find it. But yeah. And quite honestly, I don't even experiment as much as I could. Like if there's always a whenever they release Procreate, there's always a sample, um, a couple of people's pieces of sample art. And it's so amazing i'm like how do they do this i don't get it so i want to i want to experiment with that okay i think i've had enough of this portrait let's start another one <laughs> all right this time Thank um you. Let me jordan i kind of think i need more than 15 minutes to do something <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so let's, let's change this to 20 minutes by the way you guys who are in the chat right now Tell me how your procreate drawings are going because, you know, we're going to have to see them in the Discord after the stream is over. Okay, Jordan, let me pull up um, the next head, which is this one. So let me pull up my next reference image. Come on. Let me get this a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we're doing that. Okay. And I'm going to add a new layer. Oh, wait, but I have to hide the other one, right? Uh, yes, yes, you want to hide that layer. You want to hear something stupid, guys? Me? Instead of making a new layer, you know, I used to do, I should just erase. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm on a blank canvas. I would just erase everything. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's not a good idea at all. <laughs> this is interesting. Let's Alyssa see. saying, best digital art advice. I received is to treat it as a painting, not a drawing. And let's see, Veronica says, blue will spirit for merging layers. You can pinch the layers together with your fingers. Wait, what? How do you do oh, that, yeah. Jordan? You literally pinch the layers. So may maybe you should just watch me because I don't, <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to lose all your stuff. <laughs> Wait, I, I just did um, it, but did I lose all my layers? Oh my God. Wait, no. <laughs> wait, wait, can I unmerge it? Yeah, yeah, just you'd have to hit the undo button on the side of your thing. Um, otherwise, those drawings will be lost forever. Wait, wait, what, uh, what undo button? Where's that? That's the little arrow on the bottom here, uh, on the little side panel. Wait, on, over here on the side panel? <laughs> yeah, remember how I showed where the opacity was? Yeah. Yeah, just hit that that arrow. The one oh, that's oh, the to little, the like, swirly arrow yeah. that's at the bottom? Yeah, hit that bottom. one. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments is like, oh my, no. Wait, I thought no undo laughing. was the double tap. You you can do that. I just, I did that as a safety precaution for you. Um, <laughs> no offense. I just, I'm afraid that you're going to lose all the drawings. Wait, so you gave me training and not, wheels and I didn't even know I was using training wheels? Yeah, yeah, I had, I had to do that. Um, Scrimped says, you go, prop. Um, but yeah, so if you want to merge layers, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. Let's... Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Back up. Oh, I'm just showing you an example. Let's pretend this is my drawing. Um, I'm just going to pick a new brush. Hold on. So that's one layer of red, and then we'll do one layer of blue. And let's say I want to mix them. Then I'll hit the layers, and I will take um, my fingers and literally just pinch those two layers. So you see how they're kind of merging together on mine? Like they're starting to merge. I like how you're going nice and <laughs> slow. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm, I'm trying to go slow, but yeah, you just pinch it together like that. So now they're on and the now, same layer. Yeah, now they're on the same layer. But because that's... Okay, but why not... would you want to do that? 
You just asked me. Well, no, but like, okay, I know how to do it. But like in a drawing, why would you want to bother merging? Oh, oh well, there are times where, um, let's say you want to have the background. Um, let's say you're drawing um, like a background and you put a table in there and you weren't sure how it was going to look at first. And you finally check and you go, okay, that's good. Now you can merge it and you can just put it on the same thing so you don't have to worry about all these layers. Um, and the other thing about Procreate is that because it's working on, you're working on an iPad, there is a layer limit uh, depending on the size of your canvas. And so the, the bigger the canvas, the less layers you'll have. And I think I'm working on a 10 by 10 canvas right now. And, and the way you can figure this out actually for people who want to know you hit the little wrench icon, you go to canvas, and then at the bottom you hit canvas information. And then layers right here, and it should tell you, based on the size of my canvas, my maximum layer account is gonna be 55. And then it'll tell you, you have how many layers you have used. Right now I have three, and then I have 52 layers available. So I can make 52 brand new layers, I can have as much as I want on them, and it will still run. After that point, uh, Procreate's not able to handle it anymore. And that's more of a hardware issue than the program itself, I think. But, um, yeah. yeah. Wait, Jordan, oh, if I deleted my layers, are, are they gone? Did you just do it? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. If you... But, oh, wait, we didn't save my crappy first drawing, right? Because I deleted the layers? If you delete the layers, then, I mean, you could try and hit undo a bunch of times. I think you have like 250 undos or something like that. But if you go past that, or if you hit gallery and back out of it, don't do this, Clara. But if you did that, then you would lose all your undos. So like now I can't undo anymore because it kind of, it saves it like this. Um, so. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's I another. save my crappy first drawing. I wanted evidence of my first digital painting. <laughs> well, we have this on a live stream, so you can always oh, watch wait. the video. We, you said we just we did time lapse. Yeah, we there's a time lapse on the video, but it looks like the layer itself you can't get any. Couldn't you take but a screenshot? You, what do you say that again? So, like some of the layers I deleted, couldn't I go back and watch the time lapse video and take a screenshot of that first drawing? Yeah, you could. I actually never thought about ha! doing that. See, um, I thought yeah. of something. I don't think it, that's what the program is meant to do, but <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> okay, th this, is, this is a little better, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Each drawing gets a little bit easier. Well, I don't know I'm, that I would call I'm it still... easier. <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic here for you, Clara, but if you don't want to take that, then <laughs> it's fine. Oh, dear. I knew there was some sass in you, Jordan. You know, that this whole, like, nice guy front that you've got going, I think I think the slave driver in you is coming out now. <laughs> oh, probably. All my friends would tell me how sassy I was back in high school. Actually, all throughout school. Um, all throughout school. But... It, it doesn't come out that often, I think. I don't know. You, you just have to be pushed <laughs> to the limit. Is that what it is? Um, that or I'm just having too fun, too much fun, like cracking jokes, which happens quite often. As you guys have probably noticed, I like to laugh a lot. So, Jordan, why don't you see what's going on in the chat while I catch up to you? All right, let's see. Um, so... Let's see, Moonbeam says, plus you're live streaming, so you have this video, I guess referring to you watching the, looking for the drawing again. Um, Neil Espinoza says, you can undo. Um, yes, yes, you can. Um, there's, I mean, I pretty much said everything about undo in the video so far. Bull of Spirit says, I figured out my own question when I said save. I wanted it as an image on my computer. I had to select and share to get it to my computer. Ah, okay, so yeah. Uh, that will be the same as exporting what Blue Spirit is talking about. So if you ever want to, you know, print the drawing out, then you would go to share and you have all these options of different files. Uh, you can save it as a Procreate file, PSD, which is Photoshop, 
you have PDFs, JPEGs, PNG, TIFFs, and then there's all these different animation uh, ways, ways to export for animation. Um, let's see. Cricket Whisper is just laughing a lot. Uh, <laughs> Um, just TA fighter tips to improve. Okay. I, I need more specificity, please. Um, just a fighter. So, uh, I, I definitely want to answer the question, but I'm just not sure how right now, uh, are you talking about how to improve your drawing, how to improve, you know, understanding value? Like what, what's up? How much time do I have? 11 minutes. Oh, wow. See, I knew I needed 20 minutes. <laughs> you guys, my drawing, <laughs> it looks like it's melting compared to Jordan's. I don't know. I barely have anything. <laughs> Yours has like it, phony structure and it has cartilage and it has all the landmarks that I talk about in my anatomy streets. Mine looks like glue. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what the? What's this? Oh, wrong. Jordan, how long does it take to get used to this? Because does it just feel really uh, awkward uh, for a long time? Um, it can. Uh, the heck is going on? It's weird. Wait, Jordan, sorry, help. I'm trying to... help. What happened? There we go. What? What's what this? You, what happened? What? Oh, that's your brush menu. Just hit done. That or the little orange button on the top. Wait, but what happened? Did I like double click on a brush or something? Yeah, if you double click on a brush, that goes into brush editing mode. Yeah, but what is that? What is that? Like, am I changing so stuff? Let's, yeah, that would be like, let's say you don't like the texture of the brush. Let's say you don't like the way it tapers or the size of it. You can edit all of that. Um, there's honestly so many things I don't even know how to do. Cause I just kind of, I don't really profess to be someone who's good at making brushes. I just use them. So wait, so this is how you make a brush. Yeah. You would make a brush in that panel or edit one that's uh preexisting, whatever the case is. So basically this is like a gigantic rabbit hole of brushes. Pretty much. Yep. And you can even change it so that it changes the, the colors when you draw. Like, let's say you want multiple different colors as you draw. You can change it to that. It does a whole lot of stuff. It's really, really fascinating. Um, oh, I do not like this drawing right now. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lower Shut the opacity up, on this drawing. Mr. I don't start. like my drawing right now. <laughs> First of all, I don't sound like that, okay? <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> See, the difference is, Jordan, in my head you sound like that. Well, that's not how I sound like in reality. <laughs> that's a good point. I guess that is actually the only thing that really matters. Exactly. Exactly. But I keep yeah, forgetting. I just, uh... Wait, so is opacity the one on the bottom? Yes. Okay. One bottom is opacity. The one on the top is brush size. So it's so challenging to draw and talk at the same time because ordinarily if i'm doing like my 2500 or something like that it'll take me 10 minutes to do one of these heads ha. you know maybe 11 minutes or something and right now i'm like what's going on you know my brain's trying to think of like three things at once um let's see look in the comments for a second why does one eye look close i'm i don't know who's drawing you're referring to uh slept near one two three says clara your expressionist side is coming out and then Veronica Mina says, Clara is a baby when it comes to digital art and a wise old master when it comes to traditional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 315 Bird says, Clara, your drawing looks like he's looking over a polluted freeway about to cry. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm about to cry. Maybe it's like, maybe I'm like projecting myself into the portrait. That is so funny. Vivi says, Jordan was just the kid in class complaining about his 99. <laughs> Let's see. How do people, Chris, Cricket Whisper says, how do people draw the bones and muscles stuff on the neck? Um, oh, because I draw anime. Well, that's probably why, actually. <laughs> no offense. I like anime, but there's definitely um, uh, a simplification that happens with anime that kind of 
takes away from understanding the muscle structure. I don't know, Claire, do you want to go into all that a little bit more? Well, I mean, it's tricky because the more you stylize, the less clear cut the muscles become. So it's like, what do you sacrifice? Like, do you stylize more and give up some clavicle action or it's tricky. I mean, what I would just do is try all different versions, like try some where like there's no anatomy at all. Try one where it's really anatomically correct and try stuff that's in between. Cause honestly, you don't really know until you try it. So yeah, I would do something like that. Oh God, this is such a mess. Oh, I do feel better about the shading though, Jordan. It, it looks bad still, hey. but it's like, it sort of makes a little more sense. Nice. The, the pressure helps. Just, what you said about changing the physical pressure of the Apple Pencil, that's making it more fluid for me. Nice. Yeah. That, that's one of those things that I feel like everyone should know about Procreate and just getting used to it because the tool is meant to work for you. And that's why everything is so customizable, like with the brushes and stuff. And so, um, so yeah, I'm glad, glad you're getting a little bit more used to it. Hey, guys, I grew up. Tell me in the chat if you guys know what I'm even talking about. Remember Mick Paint? Remember that? Where it was like pixel by pixel. <laughs> there were like, I remember there were like four patterns. Like one was a checkerboard. One was like dots. And <laughs> like that was like all you had. Like I think my head would have exploded if I'd seen the Apple Pencil when I was eight. <laughs> I remember... Microsoft Paint, is that, the, is that the same thing that you're talking about? Uh, I don't actually know. This oh, is not yeah, the computers know. were beige, Jordan. Clara, I was born, like, come on. I grew up around computers all the time. I don't, I don't know any different. This is my life. I grew up with Elmo games on the CD-ROMs. That's, Wait, that's, okay, that's you must my remember life. CDs, right? Yes, huh. yes. <laughs> I know what those things are. Now, cassettes, I'm a little young to, to know. Oh my God, all my daughter cassettes. asked me the other day, what's a B side? I'm like, oh my God, this is going to take a while to excited. explain. <laughs> I, I remember my aunt, she had a vinyl player or a record player, and uh, she showed me how to use it for the first time when I was like 11 or 12. And I was so excited. And I was like, whoa, this is like, how does the music come out of this thing? I couldn't understand it. And uh, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I thought I was such a such a cool kid. You ever touch a record player? Huh? You ever touch a record player? Yeah, I know how to play one. Wow! Wow! Aren't you yeah. educated? I am educated. I know a little something. A bit of an old soul. <laughs> this is an improvement, right, Jordan? Isn't it better? Yeah, definitely. So you're getting used to all the toning. Like, I don't even really mess with toning all that much when I draw here. Like, That's because just... you're the line king. I sort of suck at line, and so I use tone to compensate. Oh, I see. I just, I don't know, I'm so much, I'm so into animation and stuff that that's just my go-to. Let's see. As Asiata Ayani Ayinla? For Procreate, you pay for $10 once and get every feature. Oh, yeah. So Procreate is not sponsoring me or ArtProf. But the cool thing about it is that when you buy the app once, you get all the updates for life. And it just continues. You don't have to pay for a subscription or anything like that. It's all there, which is amazing because some other programs don't do that anymore. Um, let's see. Jimmy Jenny Moore says, Jordan is precise, but I love the painterly effect of Prof Lou's drawings. See? See? Everyone's liking it, Clara. Guys, I got one compliment on my drawing. <laughs> I gotta hold on to that. That's gonna keep me going the rest of the stream. One person says, I like Clara's more. That's Owen. This one looks good, Clara. Score! 10,000 crows. Yeah, you're doing fine. Like, I'm honestly, um, like I said, I'm a bit rusty today. I, um, I haven't haven't had a chance to really get any drawing practice in. Don't don't take away so. from my from my feeling of victory, my momentary feeling. You were my teacher. You just...
You know what I think it is? I think this is just like, we're, like you just gotta keep it simple. Like the whole brush thing. That's like too much. Like I feel like, I don't know. Or, or I don't know. Do you think people should just mess around with brushes or do you think they should just pick one and try it? Um, I think when someone's starting out, if they don't have any particular goal in mind, that they should just experiment. I think it's really good to get a sense of what all the brushes do because there are some things that just don't work for everything. Like I have one brush here that is like graffiti, does graffiti stuff like, like that. So that's not going to be good to draw with, you know? So, and you want to know that going in so that as you're working, you're not wasting time. So yeah, I definitely think that that is a good step. You know what I'm finding? I'm not really using undo that much, but you told me some people like have their hand permanently on the undo button. Yeah, um, that happens. That's So when people have their hand on the undo button, that's more of a Photoshop when you're working on the computer thing. And it's like control Z or command Z or whatever it is. And then um, on here, because it's just two finger tap, you don't even really have to do a whole lot. You just go tap, done, tap, done, you know. Um, I don't know. I find the undo button, it's like, it's sort of distracting. Like, it, it kind of messes up with my flow. Like, I, I need need flow when I'm drawing. I mean, the good news is you can always ignore it. <laughs> yeah. But I, I guess it just really depends on what you're working on, because some people use this for more professional work, and, you know, if there's a mistake and they need to get rid of it, then, bam, you know, there's always that. But... If you're doing something a little bit more loose and sketchy or whatever. All right. We are that. out of time for that post, Jordan. Let, let's do a longer one next. Because I feel like a I'm just getting one. to the groove. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's... let me bring up the next head. And why don't we set this one for, let's see, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Let's do uh, 25 minutes. How's that? Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, let's see. Ooh, I really like this portrait. Which one are you doing? Oh, okay. Mar Maria Bell Azamar says, I really like Jordans. Thank you. Ron Nux says, I vote for Clara. This isn't a crit clash, guys. What is this voting all about? <laughs> <laughs> you know what we should do? We should like merge the draw along with a crit clash. <laughs> Oh, that would be, oh man, you talk about pressure. Oh my goodness. No, no, now um, you guys are getting all these ideas. <laughs> oh no, don't do that to me. Um, Jordan's looks like Joaquin Phoenix again. <laughs> oh, here's a question for you, Claire. Irma says, how does it feel to learn from your student? Is it inspiring or is it nervous? <laughs> it's, it's kind of awesome. Do you, know, you guys know how cool it is? to not have to be the teacher and have no responsibility at all. It's great. Like I totally am in love with this concept. <laughs> Actually, someone just said we should do more of these streams. Well, you guys like these. Who, who here likes this, this dynamic of me acting like an idiot and Jordan telling me what to do? <laughs> let us know <laughs> if you like this dynamic and you want to see more of it next month, let us know. <laughs> Let's see. David Pena says, uh, I agree, more draw-alongs between two art prof teaching artists. 10,000 Crows, yes, more. Mario Bell, I do. I'm just going to keep going. Yes, Jordan's work is so crisp, I'm losing my mind. Thank you, Audible. Uh, me, I assume that's uh, Asiato wants more drawings. Love the dynamic. We love it. Yes, yes, epic. Uh, Ron Nuck is asking, are you having fun, Jordan? I'm sure you are. Oh, definitely. This is... I. This is making my night. I'm having so much fun right now. Who says you can't go to art school and get not get paid to draw, right? Just tell them. That's exactly. Tell them, tell them uh, straight, Claire. That's exactly it. 10,000 crows, 126 people on the stream. Oh, thank you guys for watching. That's so exciting. Oh, you guys, tell us in the chat who's drawing along with us because I'm really curious to see what the people gonna look like afterwards in the discord let us know if you're drawing along with us yeah it's gonna be interesting <laughs>
one thirty now. Alyssa Mercado is saying, is saying uh, she's drawing with us. Megan B. Jordan is doing a great job teaching. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, you know, we could say Jordan had a good role model. <laughs> you don't get we to take all the credit, Jordan, for your teaching I just said skills. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not taking all the credit. I never said I. All the credit belongs to me, and I am the master <laughs> teacher of all things. I know because you're a I good person. Said. That's why. <laughs> I, I'm just glad to know that even though it's not in person, there are some other people all over the world who are learning about Procreate. I'm like, that's perfect. You know, that's a, that's a kind of a scary thing, uh, trying to present certain things to different people all across the world, especially when you can't see them. That's, that can be nerve wracking sometimes. So here's a weird question. I feel like this line I'm doing, I feel like I have to press excessively hard. Should I just make the opacity stronger uh, yeah push the opacity up and then some cases so sometimes when it's like that it might mean the brush is too small for what you're trying to do so you could either zoom in or use a different brush i think i don't like this brush which brush is this this is oh technical pencil i don't even like the name of that maybe i was using crayon before let me try that one because, um, I don't know, that other one, like, I, I kind of, ooh, yuck. I don't like that. Yeah, ooh. That's, that's way too big. Okay, hang on. That's a little bit better. See, the thing is, it's like, I keep getting picky again. Like, I'm like, oh, that's not quite dark enough. That's not quite light enough. But really, I should be not, ugh. Okay, hang on. So, Jordan, do you see what I'm doing where I'm just like, making a scribble and then changing it. Do you do that a lot or should I not be doing that? Oh, no, definitely. I think that's a good method. Um, matter of fact, I, uh, when I got to grad school and I had some digital painting classes, literally the first hour, um, our teacher was like, hey, pick a bunch of different brushes and experiment with them. See what you can do. And the reason for that is kind of like I said earlier, you want to know what's good for some things. Like, for example, um, let me look in here. So I'm, I'm just gonna do something random right now. Pick a very weird brush. So this one's called Hexavector. I think it's a, a stock brush in here, but, oops, get me there. But it does this. Ugh, that looks now, like a candy cane. Yeah, you know, so if I'm doing a certain painting, that might be really cool. Um, but for pur the purposes of this artwork, it's probably not the best. And this one, oh, this is really cool. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like a Julie Maritou painting. <laughs> that's so cool. I didn't even know about this brush. Oh, heck yeah. That's that's so dope. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to experiment later because I think I've proven my point. And <laughs> I don't think you guys want to see me just do weird stuff all day. Um, but yes, to answer your question, I think you should definitely experiment and figure out what brushes do what things. I don't know. It feels all like, it feels all choppy. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's because my brain is like being chopped up right now by procreate. I'm being like fragmented artistically. Wow, that was a little graphic, but all right. Uh, no, <laughs> come on, you guys, Chop tell up. me in the chat. Don't you think we're really good drama queens, us artists? Like everything's the apocalypse. You ever notice that? Yeah, that's true. It's like, I true. talked to my art school students and they're like, oh my God, Ragnarok. And I'm like, yeah, cry <laughs> me a river. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there was a question here about what brushes I'm using. Um, so the cool thing about Procreate is you can import Photoshop brushes as well. But the one I was using most of the stream is one that's called Tara's Oval Sketch. Um, I forget the name of the artist, like her last name, because I'm... Uh, but yeah, Tara something released a uh, pack of brushes that's really good. But I also have fun painting brushes that I use, more drawing brushes. This one is from Photoshop, one of my teachers gave me, and there's a ton, as you can see. Um, so yeah. And I just got these ones. I got these brushes from Patrick O'Keefe, who was the art director on uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I bought one of his courses online. He released uh, 
his brushes, so I'm going to be experimenting with that too, which I'm excited about. Wait, can you explain the whole like buying brushes thing? Like, do do people always sell, or do they just po- like what, what's the whole brush selling pack thing? Uh, so there are certain artists who are you know who work and they say this is really good for me, and so so let's say that let me see if I can find a perfect example because there's um. Okay, so let's say you're doing a piece of artwork and you don't want to draw a bunch of leaves, right? You can make a brush that looks like leaves and you can do stuff that um, looks like this. Like if I just felt like leaves. Oh, so that's a brush. Yeah, it's a brush. It's just duplicating leaves. And if it's like really far away or you're painting a tree or something, then you could uh, just use that instead of painstakingly drawing every single one. Or if you want to do, uh, what is this? This is says tile texture. So this one, I have a whole tile floor now. So it, it just, um, so the, a lot of artists will make brushes like this for easy use. And so like with that one, for example, I went really quickly since we're on this conversation. Let's say I'm making a wall and I have it in really poor perspective like this. Um, then I can make a new layer. Where's where's that tile brush that I just had? Um, um, did I lose it? Okay, here we go. So I can have tile brush like this. Wait, so do people make I a can... lot of money doing these brush packs? Oh, there's this guy named Kyle Webster who's made a career off of it. So what's so great about Kyle? What's his face? Kyle what's Webster, so he just makes brushes. a bunch of brushes. He just makes a bunch of them. So this isn't perfect, but like I just made a wall that has tiles on it or a floor, whatever angle you want to look at it. So that took me like, what, 15 seconds or something like that. So there's some really, really useful stuff out there in terms of brushes. And if I want that to be a wall and then I could, you know, have the floor. Uh, yeah, but how can you it. tell which brush packs are good? Like, do you just have to buy it and find out? Uh, you can buy it and find out. You can see, usually those artists will have sample artworks where you can see how a specific brush is applied. Um, you can. They show like can, a painting where they use the brush. Yeah, so they'll they'll show that, or sometimes they might even have a video. Uh, just really depends, and so uh, part of it is you kind of go in blindly. Every once in a while, you get a brush pack that just doesn't work for you, or you don't end up using that much, but. It's usually like five to ten dollars or something like that. So it's not a major. Oh, that's investment. it. It's only ten dollars. Yeah, it's it's cheap. It's not breaking the bank at all. Um, and and there are even some people who sell them to little or little to nothing and just say, hey, just donate whatever you feel like, and um, you know, uh, and you can do that. Like there was one artist who had a. a pack of photo references it was 20 gigabytes of photos that he took from all over the world from, from australia to greenland to iceland like it was all over the place and he just gave it up for free he's like hey if you guys want to use it any of your artwork go ahead um you know you can credit me or not here's 20 gigs worth of photos it's like whoa okay <laughs> so okay you. i don't understand how can all this be so cheap because isn't procreate just a one-time like ten dollar Yep. That's insane. Um, like, how come the Adobe Suite is so crazy expensive by comparison? I don't know, but they're losing the contest, I can tell you that much, because a lot of people are getting upset with Adobe for that reason. And they're like, you know what? Procreate is cheaper. It's on the go. You know, I could, like, there are some times where I don't feel like sitting at the computer or at my desk. Sometimes I just want to sit on the couch or in my bed or at the park or coffee shop or whatever, and I feel like drawing. And you have all these tools literally at your fingertips. So, um, so that, ha- there's a serious advantage there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I use the Adobe suite like crazy. It just seems like such a big difference because Adobe is a monthly subscription now, right? Yes, unfortunately. But yeah, it's, it's super annoying and no one that I know of really likes that, <laughs> that model. Um, but it is what it is. And, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention about brushes for those of you who are trying to get away with stuff. 
Um, you can also share your brushes with people. It's very easy. So let's say I want to share this brush here. Then I would swipe it and I would just hit share. And it would export and I can share it with different people or uh, I can put it in Dropbox and give people the link. You can airdrop it with, to someone. So some of these brushes that I have were just, it was just because I was around my friends and I was like, what brush is that? It's really cool. And they're like, I'll give it to you. So yeah, really nice, really, really nice. So Jordan, is this good for high res stuff? Like, can you talk about, because here's the thing, like if I go, is it under gallery? Where's the stuff that mm -hmm. like, where you like pick like paper size? Like oh. I'm so confused by that. Okay. Okay, so this is my, this is the gallery. So when you first open Procreate, this is what you see. And there's all my stuff here. What you do is you go to this plus sign on the right and it says new canvas. And then you can pick from a bunch of different options that's already here. Or if you hit this little button on the top right, you can create a brand new canvas. And um, you could pick how many inches it is. Like if you want it to be 11 by 17, you say I want 11 inches in width. 17 in height. Um, and then it'll also tell you how many layers you get. Uh, but the one thing that's really important is the DPI. So uh, if you if you do anything less than 300 DPI, it's usually not good for printing. So whenever I make something, I automatically just put 300 DPI. Because if I ever decide I want to make a book out of this, then that's the standard for printing. And what DPI means is dots per inch. So in every, um, let me go back here just to draw it out for you guys. Let's say we have a square inch of uh, of the canvas, and if I were to zoom in, it, it, this were dot two, three, four, five. The more dots there are, the higher resolution it's going to be. Uh, and so, typically, the printing average is three hundred, and that's what that means. So that's why I use that. Um, oh, I just remembered something else in Procreate that you can do that's really cool. Uh, they have a shape tool in here that's really fancy. So let's say you need a perfect square. If I just draw this out and hold it for a second, it'll make this uh, kind of rhombus shape. But if I hold a second finger on top, it'll automatically make this perfect square shape. And you can also do that with circles here. Got a perfect circle now. Um, triangles. Super useful. It's really, really nice when you're trying to get those shapes. A little bit of a tangent, but I thought that would be cool to bring up. <laughs> okay, so I don't understand why I need another layer ever. Like, th there's no point to me, right? Um, like, well, if you're doing a black and white drawing, like, why do I need another layer? Well, if you're doing a black and white drawing, yes, but do you know the kind of things you can do in Procreate? Like, have you ever seen artwork that was made in it? Like some really extreme I've ones. Seen your stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm gonna go back to my gallery and I'm gonna show you. This is a artist named Loish, and she did this in Procreate. And this they use this to advertise the new, uh, the new update that they just had. So I highly doubt. Matter of fact, I will pay anybody. <laughs> uh, I will bet anybody that this was not done on one layer because it's so complex, right? You have the character, you have the background, the flowers all this stuff. And so you can do that sort of stuff. Um, here's another example. You know, all, there's a lot I mean, of- I mean, is it just a color things. thing though? Or like, you know? Not necessarily. You can smudge things, you can uh, blur things. You could uh, do something called liquify. Like I'll show you guys really quickly. Um, this tool that I think is, I don't get to use it much. But I think it's really cool. Let me pick a bigger brush. Come on. And I'm just picking random colors right now. Okay, I got eight minutes left to finish this drawing, so I'm good. So there's this cool thing here, this little magic wand, and it has a bunch of options for different stuff. So you can change the hue uh, and brightness. So if I were, if I want to slide the scale. So I'm Wait, maybe it's maybe it's layer. Hold on. There we go. So I can change the colors like however I want to, or if I want to do liquify, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Like I just pick twirl right, 
and I'm just kind of pre- putting pressure on it, and it's automatically creating like this funky design. And you could do pinch and expand, um, crystallize. So if I zoom in, you guys can kind of see it's it's doing some weird stuff. So sometimes you don't want that all to be on one layer because if you do that, then it's going to just ruin your piece. So, yeah. Wait, so Jordan, how do I like, how do I like blend? Like you see this big stroke, like this one here? Like mm-hmm. how do I, you see how the transition sort of like abrupt? Like how do I like yeah. blend it so it's like softer? So you could take the, uh, the smudge tool, which is right next to your brush panel on the top, and you can pick whatever brush you want, zoom in, and just smudge it out. Wait, where's the smudge tool? It, it, so you see where your brushes are? Yep. It's right next to it. It's the one that looks like a finger, like a, like a hand finger painting. Uh, you see it? Wait, does it say smudge? Uh, no, it, it's just the little icon. It's the second icon. Uh, okay, look at my screen. You see the words blue on the top? Oh, oh, the finger. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, th- I was looking in the brush library. Yeah, yeah. well, it, it has the same type of brushes. So you can use any type of brush to make that work, but it's going to smudge it. Wait, instead. so I just, wait, I, th- this is just, oh, oh, so the, the smudge tool has the same tools as the brush? Yes. Um, but it's for smudging. Yeah. Yeah, it's for smudging. So instead of putting a mark down, it will take that same shape and manipulate it. Oh, okay. I'm going to try that. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to Simple Triscoll. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate you guys supporting us. As you know, all of our content is free and we rely entirely on donations. All right. Whoa. I need to like go through this chat because <laughs> there's a lot of really good comments in here about different things to do. Like Asiata says, having more than one layer makes it easier to fix mistakes. Line art, mm-hmm. color lighting, shadows, and backgrounds. And Caroline Nickerson says, clipping layers and getting rid of mistakes. Yep. Cool. This is great, you guys. I feel like this is like... It's like my own like private tutorial having like 150 teachers. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Such a nice little tool. Like this to me was so worth the money too. Like there would be times where now I graduate now, so I could say this. There have been times where I didn't finish a homework assignment, but I knew I could finish it on the way to school. So I would go to bed and then I'd wake up and I would do like color um or I would do like color picking or something like that. If I was drawing a character, I need to figure out what colors they were or do a quick thumbnail sketch or whatever it is on the way to school. And it was just, it was just so nice. Um, of course you got to deal with the trembling of a train, but. Wait know. a second. So I was... just put the smudge here and it looks like crap. Like how do I make that? So it doesn't get all like wet looking. I don't even know where I'm looking oh, on the oh, canvas. Sorry. Um, um, hang on. Let me. Okay, so so you oh, see his oh, cheekbone, like when I do this, it looks all like uh, wet. Like I want to keep that like dry, powdery look of the charcoal. So I never really use a smudge brush, but if I were you, I would use the exact same smudge brush or brush that you were using as you were drawing. Okay, so, so if I was doing prob- crayon, I should click smudge crayon. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. Okay, because I don't uh, like how yucky and wet that looks. Okay, so if I pick sketching... I pick crayon, but it's a smudgy thing. Ugh. But wait, wait a second. Do do I also do opacity for smudge or not? Yeah, opacity is like the same as how much pressure you're putting on. So let's say you want to smudge it really lightly, then you could lower the opacity. If you want to uh, do a full on smudge, then uh, you can put the opacity at 100. Okay, so it's like basically uh, it's a brush, but it smudges. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, Mater Gator is saying, where can I follow Jordan on YouTube? Well, Jordan does not have a YouTube channel yet, but I am going to put Jordan's Instagram into the chat and you guys should give him a follow because uh, Jordan's got some pretty cool stuff 
on Instagram. Yeah. If you guys want to see what's going on. Let's see. Rumesa? Can't pronounce your name. Sorry. Reduce the opacity of the smug tool to make it look lighter. Wait, is smug the same thing as smudge? Wait. Yeah, I think that might have been a typo. Oh, okay. It's a typo. Okay. Um, Alyssa says, I think the smudge tool is kind of tricky. I smudge with the opacity of regular brushes. And Savion says, turn the opacity down as it reduces. Okay, cool. This is great. I feel like what's cool about this is a lot of you guys are like filling in the blanks as far as like what we're like. Uh, here's the thing, Jordan, like the stuff you guys, I would never even think about it. You know, what I mean? it's sort of like having a muscle and you don't know you have it. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I get that. Yeah, I mean, that's what the whole thing is about. It's an art community and we all have to have to learn, you know, so so based on since we only have a minute and change left or almost two minutes left how do you feel about procreate from an hour ago till now <laughs> um i think i sort of suck at it <laughs> like i don't know it's like i just feel like really really awkward because it's like in theory i should be able to use it because i mm -hmm. think i can draw okay <laughs> but it's like you, you know what this is like sort of it's sort of like what's going on with online teaching right now, because all these teachers were trained to be teachers, but now they have to learn a whole new language to deliver the same content. And this is sort of the same thing. Like the principles are the same, like get the big shapes and look at the anatomy and all that, at least for portrait images. But uh, yeah, this is not the same language. By the way, one more thing, you keep going like in and out. Like I'm not doing that at all. And you're sort of like sliding the picture around. Like, is there, what's the benefit of that? Oh, that's just me zooming in. Uh, sometimes I don't want to move my hand around so much, or sometimes I need to just get closer. Um, so yeah, like I could I could draw like this just as easily, but that's not really benefiting me. All that much. But see, like I'm not uh, used to being able to do that, so it doesn't occur to me to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's for details mostly, uh, or you know, sometimes I just need to do something really, really small, and uh, it. I like it personally. I think it's really helpful. Uh, you, you know what I don't like yeah, about the, the charcoal tools? It's like they're too perfect. Like I want them to be a little bit more flawed. Ah, crap. Oh, I did not so, get very far. And that was like a 25 minute pose. Urgh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go through the chat and see what else people are saying. Megan B is asking, Jordan, how do you make digital artwork not look so perfect? Sometimes that look might be desired, but to me, digital art can look almost too polished. Do you have any uh, tips for that? Um, there's a couple methods. So one, uh, you can use a brush that looks kind of like a pencil. Uh, the, re the reason I like that is because a pencil automatically kind of has this texture to it. Like if I were to zoom in, you can kind of see there's parts where it goes in and out like this, or there's another brush. It's somewhere, this one. Like it has certain holes in it. Um, the other thing is I've never seen someone who can draw really well digitally who can't draw well traditionally. So I've practiced a lot of traditional work. Um, and the other thing with digital is like you said, there is a certain type of artwork that looks too polished. And I think because you have access to all these tools, like some of the stuff I've shown you, and there's way more, uh, people get so overwhelmed by the tools and they want everything to be perfect that they forget about the authenticity and the sponta spontaneity of the artwork. So just kind of keep those things in mind and then just practice a lot. There's, there's definitely a way to do it, but it might just not have clicked for you just yet. I hope that all helps. Alyssa, I totally feel you on that because I don't know, like, I just like stuff that's sort of like rough and textured and <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's too perfect or something like that. Uh, Derek Smith says you can draw or paint something traditionally, then edit it in an art program. So it's like mixed media. Yeah. Like a lot of people have done such cool stuff, like starting traditional, adding digital, starting digital, adding, I mean, there's so many different combinations of that, which is really cool. 
Caroline says, I love that Prof Lou's lighting looks like kids telling horror stories at camp. <laughs> I can't help it. My iPad is like down here. Hey, it's a good lesson in lighting. You know, think about the point of view, the direction of your light. And what's a form shadow and what's a light shadow, right? <laughs> That's yeah, this is interesting too. Asiata saying your representation of lines are so different. I know, like Jordan, isn't it crazy that we're using the same reference photo? Yes, it really is. Um, there's a video that I saw a couple months ago. It was from like the 60s, and it was three Disney artists painting the same tree. And you, you can find it on YouTube very easily. And they were talking about the process of each, and some people just you know, they sketched it out first. Some people just got paint and went for it. Some people designed it more as a shape rather than the actual tree. It was really interesting. So I imagine that this is one of those situations. All right, guys, you know what? We would love it for you to join us in the Discord. We are going to be hanging out in the Draw Alongs channel. If you are not in the Discord, shame on you. You need to hang out with the cool kids. The invite link is in the video description below. Please subscribe to our channel and join the Art Prof family. And thank you so much to our top Patreon supporters who make everything possible. And thank you to all of you guys for uh, <laughs> joining my, quote, journey. It's a journey, right, Jordan? <laughs> oh, definitely. It's definitely a journey. Uh, so Anyway, guys, yeah, I, thank I, you I, so I, much for watching. We will see you in the Discord.